Hi, every restaurant, bar, cafe needs a fridge and that's what I'm here to show you. So that's a fridge from Royal Catering. I prepared a simple example of what you can keep inside. Uh, basically, it's meant for food, so that's what it is. Uh, so let's just go through some details. This particular model works with 235 watts and has a capacity of 376 liters, so it's quite spacious. It has four shelves that are adjustable. Um, with this, I do have a piece of advice. It comes with, uh, well, the shelves zip tight and fixed uh, in positions. That's because uh, they will be rattling during transport, but that is actually a very practical thing uh, to do in your kitchen. So, um, basically, uh, when you have your setup ready, just use the zip ties, they're dirt cheap, so for cleaning just take them out, well cut the zip ties, take the shelves out, clean the fridge, put them back on, put the zip ties back on, because when you have busy service and you're you know, dragging stuff uh, out, uh, there is a, a risk that you pull out the shelf as well and it will end up messy. So that's a very practical thing. All right, a uh, couple more things. Uh, the cooling unit is in the back, on the back wall of the device. It works with a very common in Europe um, refrigerant. It's the R600. It also has a fan, uh, so when you close the door, it will t automatically turn the fan on. Uh, so this will ensure uh, air circulation, so you have even temperature uh, from the bottom to the top of the fridge. All right, so. Uh, first questions, because I've gathered some questions of the internet, uh, frequently asked to this uh, particular device. So first of all, uh, how loud the device is. So uh, it has 43.4 uh, decibels, so it's really quiet, it even works uh, more silent than a uh, desktop device. So that is pretty cool. Um, one more thing, uh, people are asking whether you can fit standing up bottles inside. It depends on your shelf setup, but definitely yes. However, there's one thing to remember, there's a line here, so on the top shelf when you're putting bottles up or anything, uh, it shouldn't exceed, or, uh, it shouldn't go over this line because that line ensures there's proper air circulation. Uh, also, there's a question whether this fridge has a safety function. Well, it does. It comes with a set of two keys. So these keys fit in that lock up there. So if you keep something really expensive inside, let's say cheeses or alcohol, and you want to keep it locked overnight, uh, you can do so just like that. There's a latch. It will close the door. Nobody will be able to open it. All right. So. One more very important thing is the display. That will show you the actual temperature on the fridge. Uh, don't worry about 12 degrees, that's, why, uh, that's because the fridge was open for a while. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, but you can set the temperature by pressing the set button for a few seconds. When you see uh, the C sign blinking, that's where you can change the temperature up and down. The temperature range is between 4 and 8 degrees. To memorize it, you can leave it for 10 seconds and it will memorize it, or you can press the set button, that will set the temperature uh, on the desired level. Uh, but back to uh, when you leave your door open. Well, this particular model is designed to defrost every four hours. That's the defrosting cycle. So that means it will turn, on, uh, turn off the fan inside and it will turn off the chilling unit. So uh, all the ice buildup will just simply melt and go down into the drain. Uh, if there is a necessity to uh, do it manually, you can do so by pressing the defrost button for 10 seconds. Uh, the defrost button is on the upper left corner on the display and this will uh, automatically uh, cancel and reset the defrosting cycle so it will defrost four hours from uh, the time you push the button. All right, so that's pretty much it, what I have to this fridge. I thank you guys very much for your questions. I hope I answered them all right, and I hope I see you next time.